All right, so day two, I'm pretty much going to be saying be smart about where you do your PLL parity. Now, for most beginners, when they see uh, that they have parity, they'll just go ahead and execute a PLL parity algorithm and then do the PLL, whatever one comes up. But uh, obviously, we all know that the PLL parity algorithm swaps two opposite edges. So you can use that to your advantage to force a better PLL. So in this example, on 6x6, um, uh, we obviously have parity. And if we just straight away do our parity algorithm, we have a G permutation, which is just, it's just death on 6x6. So if we undo that, what we should notice is we have this bar here, and also this bar here, and also we see that we've got this orange piece that will come to the front when we do PLL parity algorithm. So that will set up a J perm for us if we do the PLL parity algorithm from this angle. which is much nicer. So that's just, I mean, one example. There's many, many examples. Here's another one on 4x4. So we have uh, sort of a H permutation, but these two uh, corners have been swapped. So we know that uh, the parity algorithm swaps these two edges. So if we do it from this angle, we will get a T permutation. If we do it from this angle, we'll get an F permutation as this blue piece will come to the front here. So obviously F permutation sucks, so we want to do it from this angle and then do a t-pen. Um, another case that I quite find quite handy um, is for, um, for big cubes, I personally prefer I personally prefer to do this J permutation as opposed to this J permutation. So on 4 4 uh, I've set up two examples here. So we have this full bar here and then we've got this sort of block and these weird things at the back. So we've obviously got PLI parity, and here it's sort of the opposite of that. It's mirrored, so we've got the bar here, we've got this block at the back, and this weird stuff at the front. So if we do PLI parity on both cubes, we're going to get a JPM on both, but I prefer to do this JPM than the other one. So how we would handle that is if we have this case, we do the JPM first, and then do PLI parity. This case, we do the PLI parity first. 